The primary purpose of Innovative AAC Solutions, the podcast, is to educate and inform. The views expressed during all episodes are solely those of the individuals involved and do not constitute educational or medical advice. They are not necessarily the views of Special School District of St. Louis County. Quick question for you guys. Do you know what shoe, what, which letter in the alphabet has its own shoe brand? Do you know which letter in the alphabet has its own shoe brand? Adidas. Adidas. Ah, gosh, that might be my new favorite. So if you haven't, if this is your first time joining us, my name is Laura Hayes and I am the host of Innovative AAC Solutions and welcome to our podcast. We are diving in this season to all things literacy and AAC related. And so that was just a quick little literacy joke to tickle you to tickle you a little bit because it tickles me. I love these jokes. Uh, I think that we could definitely use them for our students. I think they would get a kick out of it too. This one I think would be really great for some of our young adults and uh, middle schoolers. I think they would get a kick out of it. Um, But we are back for another mini episode. And if you guys have been following for a while, you know that I am all about practical supports. And this week is no different. These little resources that you're going to hear about are ones that you can use very creatively. You can use with printouts. You can use electronically. Uh, There's some actual books that you can adapt as well as a resource where you can kind of give them some exposure to hearing the sounds on their own and and just what that can look like. And you can put that across your classroom and, and all and just flood that environment in your literacy lessons with these resources. So without further ado, here is mini episode six and all kinds of resources for you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> This week's innovative resource is amazing if you are looking for something ready to go and are already diving in to emergent reading and resources. So this is a Google site by Laura Clark entitled Reading and Writing for All. We will put the link in the show notes. But what I love about this site is that everything on it is free, which means that We have a ton of resources at our disposal that are all going back to supporting emergent reading for our students that have complex communication needs. So everything is linked back to Erickson and Copenhaver and the philosophies built within comprehensive literacy for all. And then if you scroll down, you'll see that there's directions for how to create this instructional routine throughout the day. But that she also has all of these free templated books. And what I love about these books is that they're meant to be short, quick, and just 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And we can all find 10 minutes in our day to increase instruction and exposure to literacy. So I'm going to show you one of these templated books. So we've got... example here. So we picked the letter W and the first thing is that Dr. Lara Clark talks about the evidence behind it and where she pulled the images. So all of that is cited. Um, It is meant to be used either as is or customized. So you can go to file and make a copy and download this to your Google Drive so that you can customize this for the student if needed. But you'll see that It goes right along with the instructional routine that's identified in comprehensive literacy for all. So in slide three, we're going to identify the letter together. We're going to say this is the letter W. This is the uppercase letter W. This is the lowercase letter W. Let's practice naming the letter or let's practice saying the letter in our heads. What is this letter? W. Then we're going to go into what sounds it makes. 
So everything is laid out right here. So even if you're not there, even if one of your teacher assistants are supporting you with individual students, it's all right there. Then we have highlighted words and pictures that go along with them to highlight that sound. You can see we've got web, wings, walk. Then we could talk about practicing the sound that the letter represents and saying it together. We can then find the letter. Let's look together. Let's look for the letter in the text. Here it is on the keyboard. And then there's some great language opportunities. What do you like to do in the water? Do you like to swim or do you like to surf? Do you like my new watch? We're identifying the letters and the sounds, and we're also embedding language opportunities. And then at the very end of all of the books, we have the opportunity to practice some writing. This could be with an alternative pencil. And do we like the story? So we have the ability to share an opinion. So lots of language rich opportunities. This is meant to be very quick, as I mentioned, 10 minutes with references at the end. And it's there for all 26 letters of the alphabet. So you can see they're all down here at the bottom. You also have the option to use them as a PDF to print out or put them in a PowerPoint if you have other formats you like. And then the beautiful thing about this website is that we have those, but we also have CVI supports for students with that need the additional accommodations, including keywords and books shared by other teachers that have phonic supports like these ones from Jennifer Xavier on YouTube interactive CVI supports, interactive matching books. So if we're working on letter or word matching, matching to sounds, all of this is created for free for you. So you have picture cards, you have PDFs, anything you could possibly want to manipulate, either interactively on Google Slides or um, old-fashioned light tech where we're printing them off and cutting them apart. You can make your own books. It gives you the templates and the tutorials to do that, which I love. And then last but not least, um, if you're moving into more conventional supports, it's got keyword cards. And then this little tab for teacher affirmations, which I th just think is so incredibly important to help us fill our buckets and remind us that we need support in our journey and affirm all the works that we do, all the work that we do for our students. So it has seven different sets and um, printed some of these out and keep them at my desk because I just think that that motivation and support for us is important too. So this is one of my favorite websites. I hope if you haven't already tabbed it, you tab it, bookmark it, and get to using, get to printing, get to making your own, get to customizing, all those great things because our students will benefit from it. For this week's innovative activity, I have something really fun. It's called, you can maybe hear it already, but it's called Hear the Sounds. It's called Hear the Sounds. It's not showing up very good on my screen, but it is a box that includes 26 alphabet buttons that you can actually hear along with an activity guide. So I'm going to grab, this is from Lakeshore. I'm going to grab one of them so you can see. They are all lowercase, so that is something to note. But as you're looking at doing a letter of the day and you're talking through these, you can have them explore what those letters phonemically mean for your students. I love this for just interactive learning, for if you're working through phonemic awareness activities. Uh, uh. I will also say that for the vowels, there is only one sound. So just note that. Uh. But I like how they're all different colors. There's red, blue, purple, green, and orange. And it goes through, like I said, 26 letters. So you can see those sounds. Um, it does not give you the ability to re-record, so that is one 
not so great thing about this activity, but I do in general just enjoy the interactiveness of it, the feedback they can get, the exploration of it. You could put the tiles together and make funny words, make real words. So we could even do something like blending so we could blend those tiles together and see if our students can make a real word and then we can again work on just kind of that blending skill of putting a different sound in so we've got k at cat and then we switch it out with a b at now we have bat and so just playing with all of those sounds um, is a great way to engage our students and just support those literacy skills so check this out it's in the irc it's called hear the sounds it's by lakeshore hear the sounds alphabet buttons um, i'll put the link in the show notes enjoy mm -hmm.